All right, we've got some familiar faces, a few new faces. We're gonna get started here. We've got just a few like walkthrough presentations and then um, there'll be some of the people on the list here. But what I do wanna uh, start out and say like framework wise, we've tried to make this uh, a back and forth. We don't wanna be talking at people here. We're trying to come out with, you know, where the challenges are, where people might have ideas for solutions, where the market opportunities are and you know, moreover, like, why are we not able to fulfill some of those market opportunities, which I will talk about probably in length. So please stop me if you get bored on that one. But this is our initial list. We're going to try and stick to this. Uh, if your name's on the list, try and be here around that time. Uh, also, we'll try and do Q&A at probably the e either the end of each session for about five minutes, or we'll combine Q&As if there's some overlap between the two. So let me get in this, Clara, just briefly. Yeah, and just let me run through the thinking through the day. So first, we're going to start off really understanding client, uh, who the client is today. There's many kinds of clients that we talk to um, when we think about clients in the Filecoin ecosystem. So we're going to start by breaking down what client profiles uh, look like, and Jen's going to run through that. We're going to uh, we're going to turn around and really look at what's being built in the ecosystem today that are trying to solve client problems. So we'll go through an ecosystem map of where different L2s and integrators are in Filecoin and what gaps they fill and what are the missing areas that no one is really tackling. And so we'll also hear from Titan and a few other um, folks in this room around their opportunities and challenges. We're gonna then take a step back and look at the broader D-PIN ecosystem and really look at what this PMF look like for other D-PIN companies. What can we learn from G the GPU space from Aether? Um, what are similarities? What are similar challenges? We're gonna then look at how messaging impacts how we think about PMF for Filecoin because there are a lot of other decentralized storage platforms out there and we wanna make sure that we're thinking about all approaches and that we also message in a way that resonates with clients. Um, finally, we're gonna go through uh, a running gap because talking doesn't really solve any problems. We really wanna make sure that as soon as we see gaps, as, we soon, as soon as we see problems to solve, we have a DRI and someone really clear that's gonna take on those challenges. And so we're gonna then transform into day three tomorrow in smaller breakouts where we can really make sure we can tackle those challenges that we talk about today. Um, and then you, you guys can see here, um, hopefully you walk away from today with some of these takeaways. Robert? Oh, did you raise your hand? Or? Oh, okay, got it, got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna turn the floor over to Jen to go over client personas.